Hello and welcome. In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a very basic look at color management here in DaVinci Resolve. So what color management will ultimately do is normalize the footage, which allows you to have a solid foundation for a creative grade once the footage is normalized. The traditional way of teaching color grading is to dial everything in using primaries, curves, that sort of thing. And it absolutely still can be done. And there are even times when you might be working with footage, whether it's old footage, new footage, and you don't know what camera the footage was shot on. In that event, you can dial it in, try to normalize it as best you can, and fairly quickly come up with a basically decent grade. Now that we've achieved the look we want, we're going to grab a still of this. We're going to reset that node because we're gonna do this a different way. So we're gonna look at color management now. I'm gonna go down here, click on our gear. We're gonna to go to color management. We're gonna switch color science from DaVinci YRGB, which essentially tells DaVinci, I've got this, I don't need any help. We're going to switch that to DaVinci YRGB Color Managed. So as we can see, some of the clips in the timeline have been color graded, whereas some have not. And the reason for that is DaVinci automatically knows and recognizes that these two clips were shot on an Ari Alexa. For these other two shots, DaVinci simply needs the camera information to make those corrections. So we're going to right click on this first clip, input color space. And we know that this was Canon log three, so we'll go ahead and click that, bring it back up. This is my grade, and this is what DaVinci came up with. So for this last clip, we're again going to right click on it, go to input color space. This time we're gonna go down to Sony. Click on that. So as easy as that, you've normalized all four video clips. You've taken the clips from what the camera saw to what your display can show. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more tutorials.